Hi guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel. Welcome into the Universal Energies, Air, Water, Fire, and Earth. Spirit Lead, Cornbread Fed. I don't know who these messages are for. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, because you don't want to miss the message that is for you. Take what's for you. If it don't fit, you must acquit and toss that. <laughs> anyway. Spirit, show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. Who is this message for? When I was getting the meditation, well, before I stepped into my meditation, I thought this was going to be a love reading. But when I was meditating, Spirit said it will be just matters of the heart. So it's something on your heart. Let's see. It's for Libra. Major Arcana justice card the first thing that i saw was the number eight right the number eight symbolizes success being decisive uh walking in self-confidence um doing you right doing what's best for you right? reaping karmic justice laying some stuff down that need to be laid down i feel like Although you may be laying something down that you want to lay down, it's like you're trying to resurrect something else. Like, um, maybe uh, bring something back from the past. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. When I was doing my meditation, I did get a lot of red and black. And um, you could be wearing red or right now. Or you could just be in, uh, trying to survive, doing whatever you need to do to survive right now, Libra. Yeah. Spirit, show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see at this time. With the matters of the heart, what energies are surrounding the Libras at this time. The answers you need are coming, Libra. So make sure that you keep watching this confirmation rules the nation. But it's something that you've been questioning that um, you're about to receive the answers for. Have faith, right? Faith came out um, a lot in this uh, energy of today, holding on, right? Number eight, be optimistic. That's all about being uh, having faith, waxing, crescent, mood. Answers you may need may be coming around the waxing, crescent. Third chord is the timing chord. Hmm. Your dreams need a practical plan. And go and check out that video that I just uploaded before this, the energy update. Because I did say the waxing, crescent will be probably maybe four weeks time. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan though. Taurus energy. Libra, Taurus out here on the board could be dealing with a Taurus. I have Taurus um, in your chart somewhere, but you need a practical plan. Full moon, maybe something that um, by the next full moon or something that you were introduced to a new opportunity or something. Uh, but it says your dreams need a practical plan, something that you dream may have had a dream around the full moon which was just a couple of days ago so make sure you pay attention to your dreams right and have faith pay attention to your dreams for sure but it was all about planning this is the uh waning gibbous moon phase it's all about slowing down making practical plans right because right now you might be feeling like stuff not working out but i think it is i think it is gonna work out for you Something is going to work out for sure. So, let's see. Spirit, show us what we need to see. Give us one more. Or right, have a minute. Let's see. Spirit, just show us what we need to see. How about we just say that? Show us what we need to see. Make it plain for us. Right. Hunger. Definitely go and check out that last video. Um... This is what well, wolf you're going to feed, right? Justice is all about the scales. It could go either way, right? 
depending on you. What wolf are you gonna feed? Abundance and pleasure. Those eights rolling out for you. But the thing is, two eights that sim signifies something needed to close out so some new things can begin. So remember I said that I was feeling like you wanted to resurrect something. I don't think I think you should just let sleeping dogs or or men lie or issues, right? Masculine issues, something that you were wanting to take action towards, whatever it is that you were thinking that you wanted to take action towards. I feel like you need to let that go because eight, two eights. So there's something that needed to end so you can achieve something, right? Something being practical about the situation. Yeah, with that one in the middle of those, something trying to, success is trying to be initiated, right? Spirit is trying to give you something, give you abundance. Wow, yeah, definitely abundance. Karma, and this is uh, um, the day I think you need to definitely step into your personal power because two energies of today, this is the third energy of today. We're talking universal manifestation energy right we got the 11 here with the 38 goes down to the 11 right the master teacher stepping into your personal self right then we got the 11 on the energy the number of today right that's 11 11 11 a powerful gateway I think you need to um it's like creating it's like creating a powerful you're creating or today is the day that you could be creating a powerful gateway for yourself or you need to a powerful beginning a powerful opening hmm. being created today is going to be a strong day of being created uh oh Glaxonia don't be uh, <laughs> popping no caps around here, okay? Ooh, love at first sight, the Glaxonia. So, um, love at first sight and a proud spirit. When I saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew it's going to be something. I, it's almost like Cupid's arrow, right? Like you're going to definitely feel it. You, um, My first husband, when I met him, I didn't feel it, but I saw it. I saw it. But Spirit is saying, you go feel it. It's going to feel like a gunshot, like a bullet. Glaxonia, right? Love at first sight. Have faith. It feel right over pleasure. And have faith in your dreams. Okay, honeysuckle. Domestic happiness and devoted affection. Wow, the honeysuckle right over abundance. Uh talking about suckling oh yes it's just coming i will wind thee in my arms so that the wind woodbine and honeysuckle gently into his we talking about something coming together y'all gently smoothly coming together definitely gonna uh pull some tarot on this something smoothly gently coming together. It could be two loves, right? Love at first sight or something that you do for the first time that you realize is something that you absolutely love, right? You know how um, when I first started doing hair, right? I knew that I absolutely loved it. I had to do it, right? So spirit, show us what we need to see. Page the cups. Love it. Being open because something new is on the way. Some people are going to be um, expecting an apology, right? Or maybe just somebody younger, a younger energy. But it's definitely Page of Cups is some, somebody ready to commit. So being open to the commitment, being open to doing something. Still show us what we need to see about this practical plan. What's the dream? It said, how you got two dream cards. Have faith in your dream. Your dreams need a practical plan. Page of Swords. Gathering more information. You need to gather more information about it. Hmm. 
gather more information. Five of Cups have no regrets. Right? Quit looking back. I told you somebody's definitely still holding on, looking back to what woulda, coulda, shoulda been instead of turning around. And look, it's so close. You closer to the new thing than you are to the old thing. I like that. I feel like it's causing a lot of emotional um, stress, though. A lot of emotional tension. So, I mean, I need to definitely have some pleasure. Get some pleasure release in your life. Have faith. How do we have faith? Have faith. Give us something on. Have faith in your dreams. Nine of Swords. You're doing it to yourself. Right? You you making it harder than it should be. She cuddling. She it's almost like with that ace of swords in reverse. See, the ace of swords in reverse is kind of like not the truth. Right? I feel like you seeing something that is not what it seems. Right. She walking on. Mm, I feel like it could be somebody that you having sex with, somebody that you really have high regards and a lot of respect for maybe they don't really deserve it or maybe you shouldn't be having sex with this person somebody's doubting if you doubting whoever or whatever um i feel like it's some kind of ideas right thoughts right i feel like you shouldn't be doubting your thoughts doubting your abilities let's see have faith in your dreams. Yeah, temperance in the four cups. The end is over. Spirit is working on your dreams. I mean, it's working out right now. It's working out right now. Something beautiful. I love it. Something that you're very capable of. Like, I feel like you're about to move towards. See, you looking towards. See her looking towards that dream. But I feel like you're not moving, right? Because you're still looking backwards. Right, Seven of Cups? It's an illusion out here. It's an illusion out here. Maybe with a uh, partnership. Something that, like I said, that you thought it was like the best thing. But it's definitely not. I feel like you're just having a hard time walking away from this thing that brought you so much pleasure, right? You're torn. The Six of Cups energy, definitely torn. Getting messages, right? Research. Remember it says seek more information, right? Spirit is trying to give it to you, show you the signs, the arrows. <laughs> Look, it is it's like, you see this arrow coming from spirit. And I told you it was like you were trying to resurrect something. It's an arrow in uh, that man right there, right? You see it. Spirit got an arrow right there. And it's an arrow in that man. And you trying to bring it back. I feel like something that spirit killed, basically, period. Spirit killed, dead it, or whatever. You trying to bring it back. And I feel like this uh, stopping the progress from the new thing. It's stopping the progress from the new thing. Yeah, it's not time to do you right now. It's time to do what um, is best for you, right? Remember, a personal truth is not a universal truth. We're trying to walk in the universal energies. Hmm. That's what we need to see on this abundance. I told you something. You stopping your abundance looking at this past. Yeah, seven of ones in reverse. Right? Not being open. That's the eight of ones. You stop not being open to the new thing. You stopping the opportunity. Right? The opportunity to move forward through a new, a powerful gateway. Another 11. Right? 
Watch this because this is a karmic pattern. And maybe be with somebody, a lover, right? Because they definitely making love. A karmic pattern, I feel like. Be aware. Be aware. Definitely we need to put the past behind you for sure. Give us something on this pleasure behind this Ace of Wands. This new passionate beginning. This new passionate opportunity. Major Arcana. And it flew right over Justice card. Right. Needed to use effort. The strength card. Needing to put the ego behind you and use compassion. Ooh, not being afraid. Right? This is not being afraid. Don't be afraid to look the beast in the face is what I'm hearing. So it might be a conversation that you might need to have. And you don't need to be afraid to have that conversation. Star card. Yes. Everything gently entwined coming together. I love this. All possibilities. It could be the energy of a friend did come out. Right? Could be a, a friend that you have, a best friend, feels like a best friend, is going to be your best friend, right? But this is all possibilities. Everything working out, reaching for the stars, right? Past the moon, not even a moon in sight. Yes, give us something on the star. Give us the star. Look at the star. See, you trying to resurrect something old and got something hot and fresh right here up on you. Hmm. The fool card. Oh, wait, is this the hermit? Oh, no, this is the hermit card. You know, intuitive. It makes me feel like the fool because you're going to come to the edge like it's time to take that leap of faith, right? You Or you might be feeling like a fool. Hmm. Don't feel like a fool, bitch. Don't be hard on yourself, right? Don't be hard on yourself. It's time to grow up. For one, somebody definitely want a mature, balanced relationship, right? But I feel like, remember when I was saying avoiding issues, not stepping in, not using um, effort? I feel like somebody needs to just use the effort, be mature about this uh, conversation, right? Maybe need to meditate more with that hermit card. It take the, the time that you took to step back and really look at this beast in the face or the time that you will take to really um, approach this thing, right? Take this thing head on. I feel like that's what's going to bring everything together. The two cups, right? That's what's going to... Some, some of you going to reconcile, right? Some of... Some of you are going to reconcile. It's not that what you had wasn't dead, but you might just be on separation, right? Separation and dead is two different things. Because there's some people I know for a fact that it's over and done with. With me, that's a dead situation, right? But it's some people that I deal with that it's like, hmm, you know, we can work it out. If we work it out, if they or if I, you know, but it takes two, you know, it takes two to work it out. But some of you definitely are going to get to reconcile. Some of you definitely just going to love that love at first sight. Remember, Spirit said love at first sight. It's going to be that new thing. It's going to be that new thing. Yeah, end of a cycle. End of a cycle. And there's temp Tempers card. Tempers, <laughs> look at Spirit working it out. Right. Bring a stability to this thing. I love it. Queen of Cups, somebody that's going to be ready and open and can see the big picture. And then you got the star again. Hmm. Wow, I love it. I love it. All right, Libra, I hope that you heard something or saw something that resonates with you. And that you can make the most out of this reading. Till next time, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and give me a like. And I love you. Namaste.